Claire grinned at her sister's comment, silently agreeing with the sentiment. Just like her sister, she was looking forward to seeing how much stronger she'd become after killing so many monsters. Grabbing some of the rocks on the monster's back, the simple act of gripping the monster felt different. Lifting it from the ground, this is a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. Hannah voiced out the thoughts going through Claire's mind. Slowly, they made their way to the cart, the monster above their chest. Claire glanced to where the others were and watched the new adventurers hoisting the creature. Though their expression betrayed how much effort was necessary, they also looked startled, just like Hannah. I guess they also leveled up after fighting the monsters. Claire redirected her attention to the uneven ground, not wanting to trip and get crushed by the monster. Due to their strategy of leading the monsters away from the cart, reaching it took longer than they'd prefer. But even with the increased walking distance, it wasn't a task that was overwhelming and just required effort to complete. Upon reaching the cart, they slowly placed the monster next to the one already laying inside the cart. The cart creaked with the added weight, but held together. Checking out the number of monsters loaded into the back, the worker shook her head. We're not going to have any room to bring back any ore. Sighing, she said. We'll need to leave these bodies behind and have those back in town bring two carts instead of the usual one. That doesn't sound that big of a deal, Bill said as he grunted, trying to get the monster into the cart. Bill, Cammie, and Don each looked tired from the effort and were resting to regain their energy. Addressing Bill's thought, the Catwoman said, In some ways, it's not a big issue. But the added amount of ores and monster corpses could attract any bandits that are in the area. Bandits? Cammy looked up at the woman, her brows furrowed. Tilting her head, the Catwoman said, It's not a definitive thing, but there have been the occasional bandits near the town. She pointed the way they came. The town is a popular destination for merchants on their way to the other nearby cities. Nodding, Abby said, That makes sense. It would be more unusual if bandits weren't active around here then. Don breathed in and exhaled. Makes me think about buddies who had to deal with that stuff overseas. Same, Abby agreed. But even in our area of the world, Dealing with those who are active in the underground economy wasn't very unusual. Even though I stayed in the medical area, I've seen the effects of the product used by soldiers. Claire understood what her sister was talking about, thinking about their parents talking about how bad the situation was with certain underground substances being sold and purchased. Even in school, they talked about the dangers and recommended that students stay away from such things. With the threat of bandits, we'll need to get more adventurers to escort the carts, the Catwoman said after they became silent due to their thoughts. Not feeling like it was appropriate to talk about it currently, Claire kept silent about whether they take up the job again to escort the carts to and from the mines. With their encounters with the rock lizards, it was a good experience. She wondered whether she'd be able to fight against bandits. Though compared to monsters, bandits would be people that look similar to us. Even if they're attacking us, I don't know if I'll be able to go up against another person. Her thought about the future. Hearing grunting, Bill, Cammy, and Don made room to allow the other adventurer group to dump the monster into the cart. 
Compared to Bill, Cam, and Don, the new adventurers were completely tired. Chris took a look at the pile of monsters and said in a depressed voice, I guess this means we'll be walking to the mine? His shoulders slumped from the thought of having to walk more before being able to take another break. Feeling bad for the guy, Claire shook her head as she went over to grab the other monsters with the help of Abby and Hannah. Passing by Chris, Don gave a comforting pat on the shoulder as he, Cammy, and Bill moved to help out with other creatures.